In this video we're going to be showing you how to achieve a live search by using Node.js, like the one that you can see here where we can search up any foods that we want. Apple, pear, mango, and your no suggestion if nothing appears. Stay tuned, watch the video to find out how to create this. Okay, so we just got some boiler code set up here on Node.js. Uh, it's very simple, quiet express. Uh, body parser mongoose. We're connected to a database called Live Search, which I'll show you in a second. It's got a very simple schema, schema here. We're only, we're only going to be using. Um, no, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, it's got title and URL. Uh, created the model based off this. I'll show you what we've got in here right now. In the Mongo database, so Live Search paste it there. Got one collection of course called searches because we, we created it here. And we just got some fruits in here. DB. As you can see, fruits, uh, the name of the fruits are in the title field. And uh, if, you are, if you're going to do this for real, you would include the actual URL of the web page that you want to link to because remember, this is live search, but obviously, which example for, for these because it's just a practice. Um, we just created a default route, nothing in the get request at the moment, so we're just going to solve that now. Set it to end or something. Uh, search, why not? We'll create that now. Again, this is the boilerplate code. I've got an extension that allows me to do it. just the boilerplate. Obviously, you can copy it from the internet. What you need for the boilerplate. Which title would set this uh, food search? Because that's what it is. Uh, yeah, we're going to need jQuery as well. So, let's get the Google hosted one from W3 Schools. H1, very simple, it's, you know, it's not going to be advanced. Uh, I don't know. Uh, type text. Size 30. Uh... Yeah, on key up. So this gets this this will uh, send this will activate a method that we specify every time uh, we release a key press. Uh, we'll just show result. Set put in as as a parameter. Put in the stop value. So the actual value of the input. Yeah. So I'm just checking my notes here because obviously this is actually I did a little uh, earlier. But. So if I did here. Which we will start. We'll start in a second. Okay, we'll just create the actual uh, functionality now in the static folder scripts. Dot js. Uh, well, it's because it's at the bottom. We don't need to create the ready method because it's rendered at the bottom of the document object model anyway. So. What all I'll do is just we'll create a reference to live search. First, use jQuery, it's a lot easier. Now we'll say actually let's uh, I don't know. Oh actually no, I need to start the styling first, so styles to CSS. Again, this is what all the this is what all the uh, professionals do: box sizing, border box, which includes the width and padding uh, in the actual. No, so margin and padding in the width and height. We'll start this now. Uh, live search. Background color. Yeah, let's set that. Okay.
So it's not, yeah, so it's, it doesn't uh, take up all of the, the width of the actual web page. And now we're going to do a create a hide class. The reason for this is because to actually hide the um, search results, which I'll show you in a second what I mean by this. And we're going to start the link style, so. I'll be styling it in all its different modes, pseudo classes, so. Uh, was it active? Yeah, active. What does it say? Color black. Yes, the reason why we create the hide class is because at the moment, I don't know, just put any random text. Yes, yeah, so we want to hide this basically, so that we could display it here. So we just, at the moment, we'll just put the class on to hide it. So as you can see, there's nothing there. Okay, now that we've got that sorted, we can actually start to do the functionality. So I remember we created it's on key up method, show results this value, so. Okay, this method now, str. We'll just call it the parameter. Okay, so now we're going to say if str, so if they haven't entered anything, equals zero, then we'll say, uh, sorry, search dot add class hide. If they have actually entered something, then we'll say search move class, and we'll say move the class. So it will actually be visible if they have entered some text in there. Because obviously, you know. And now we'll create the Ajax uh, object, HTTP request. Request object, so you could request, send a request and handle. Send the request to the server and handle the responses from the server. Uh, so obviously, uh, URL. Well, we've only created the default root, so we'll associate it with that. Default root. Content type will be application JSON. Uh, method host. Data will stringify the uh, str argument. That say that search. Let's call it that. Why not? I want to have a query. And then success. We'll get this down. Oh, sorry, I didn't put the comma here. So we'll say uh, search.html to actually update the content. Result.result. .result. We'll, we'll, yeah, obviously, we'll handle this now. And now we'll handle the actual server side. So we need to create the post method. Because obviously, we just use a JSON object to send a post request. Contain the input data. So we'll need to do this now. Create the actual method on the server to handle that post request. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so for yeah, first one is to create some variables. Uh, let's follow along here. I'll explain it. It will, it will make sense in a second, but it took me a while to figure out how to do this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to recreate what I've done, that's the problem. Yeah, so what we're doing here is, yeah, so, oh, sorry, no, it's not search. It's, yeah, we call it query in this case. But that's what I called it before. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, say, we'll say it's a lowercase, so it will be, so the results will, the, that get displayed in that box which is now visible. It'll be the same, no matter, it won't be affected whether they put uppercase or lowercase. And now we need to just make sure that they've actually entered something, just in case. 
so greater than zero. We will do search dot find function uh, result. So this will uh, return all of these documents in an array as JavaScript objects. So that's what that will do. Now we need to loop through all of these ones individually. Uh, actually, no, first we will need to check if there's any errors. So if there is an error, that's what this first argument's for. Then we'll just log that error. Hopefully, obviously, there won't be an error. Any errors. Alright, now we'll loop through uh, the result. So result dot for each. And then, uh, yeah, function result. So this will obviously return. This will assign each of the documents to each, to each iteration in the loop. Alright, so this is. So if the result dot index of search query is not equal to minus one, the reason uh, for this is because basically it return index of it returns it uh, minus one if whatever whatever uh, search query holds can't be found in the result uh, object. Sorry, not object. Oh yeah, sorry, oh man, I'm messing this up a bit. It's a result title because the field... Yeah, this is, a, this is actually a string. We need to put in titles uh, to access the field which contains the, uh, the, the actual title as a string. So obviously, for example, if you just put A here, it will turn... At the moment, it will, it will just return all the titles which contain A, basically. Obviously, P, P, L, E, then it's only going to attain this one here. Yeah, and then if, so if hint, so if base, if this is the first one, basically, if hint is nothing, because and it will be nothing by default, because we set it to equal nothing by default here. And this is the hard part right now. Then equals, we need to do a bit of uh, string interpolation, which is quite hard. So a href equals concatenate this. Uh, what will you concatenate? Href equals yeah result dot url, and then we want to see target now equals underscore blanks so open in the window. That's what I that would do when when they actually click on the link. Now to create the actual text that will go uh, in between the two A tags. Yeah. Now we do, so at the moment I'll just do it else actually. So if it's already been assigned, so if a hint's already been assigned a value, then we need to, that's only going to display one result in the, in the, in the search result. Uh, but we want to display more than one. So we do we do concatenations hint equals hint plus oh no actually we'll put we will put a line yeah line break just so it's actually on a new line but then the rest will just copy this and then now yeah this it's, I had a lot of problems with this but we need to. Make sure that the, make sure that this piece of code right now is written inside of this method, inside the search method. So if hint equals nothing, then set response to equal no response. But if hint does have a value, in other words, uh, we were able to find uh, a title which matched our search query because it didn't equal minus one. Um, and then we assigned hint with the A tags which contain the URL and title. Uh, and if there was more than one, then we just concatenated it. So it, it will display as a list. Then we set response to equal hint because we want to actually display that. 
And then now below this if statement, we actually send, so we do res dot send, create an object, response, equal, we yeah, response. And now, I mean, yeah, well, we, we'll, we'll see if this works now. Hopefully it will, because otherwise. This, what? Alright, so I have actually figured out what the, what the problem was. The problem was, I put result dot result, but it, I actually named the field name here that the object, the field name of the object that I sent over back to the browser from the server, I call it response. Uh, but I put result here, but I needed to put response. That was what the problem was. But now it's working. As you can see, Apple, uh, Mango, again, like. There's only one thing that I would add, because you might want to limit, for example, if you just put A, that's quite a lot. And if you did have a real search engine, you would probably want to limit the number of searches that you, that you got back. So obviously, it's not hard to do. You just put limit, uh, start, set this to one each time post method is activated. And then literally, you just turn this into an else if statement. And then limit less than five and then increment it by increment limit by one each time. So now this is and now if you put A, it's only gonna yeah, it's only gonna show a couple of these. Uh, and yeah, like I said, this very I'm I'm sorry if this wasn't the best video, but I'm not. This is, this is literally something which I only figured out how to do today. No one else has done it. Not using Node.js anyway and uh, Ajax. Everyone else has done sorry Node.js and MongoDB. Everyone else has done it using. PHP and SQL, so this is the first one. Uh, yeah, and I hope I helped you. Again, it wasn't fun sense at all, didn't do anything fancy. But again, as always, make sure if you have any queries and post them in the comments, don't hesitate to do that. I'll answer them uh, to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped. And uh, I'm sorry if it was a slower one, but it's more complex than the other ones. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.